This is the next stop. You think? Okay. Get the peroxide. Oh gosh. I'm gonna perform surgery on herself. Infection out. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Ow! And now the fun part. I'm very My juice. Give me some more of that juice. A lot of juice. What the heck? Yabari! Yabari! Need the hammer? No! Need the hammer? Oh no! Oh Yabari, get off me! No! Get off of me. Oh, wow. Hello. Nice. Not bitten. 
I never was. And you left me out here to die. You packed yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Are you gonna Rebecca say... Around out here. We better get inside. Are you, you guys gonna you say hungry? it's... Okay. Am I hungry? Eh. What do you think, man? It's like, what do you think? Just killed a walker and I just sewed my own freaking arm up, so... Do you think I'm hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she looked. Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in and her temperature would be through the roof. What's wrong with Nick? I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is. What it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometimes. You do not know what she needs. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Well, I see how it is. Stay away from my daughter. Well, geez. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's going to leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. I hate to say that again. Scars, they're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. I'm sorry for, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go yeah. off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there. She got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway. Hopefully you understand. 
I do. Yeah. You just said that totally backwards, Clementine. It was supposed to be, yeah, I do, but you just said, I do, yeah. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? Well, they'll just have to deal. Besides, it makes sense to let you hear and take some time to sort things out. At least for a little while. So, what happens to your parents if you don't mind me? I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it. On your own for so long, but maybe you did. So they died. That's tough. I uh I lost my folks too. Hey, I'm sorry. I I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, it sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyway. So get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? Get some fishy french fried potatoes. Still here. How? I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. She's starting to remind me of Lily from the first season. Don't talk to me like that. For what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. Yeah, I know. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. <laughs> That's just my advice. Got him. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. I'm an 11-year-old little girl who knows how to be a smart aleck, and you're just a pregnant, cranky old middle-aged lady, and you got a problem acting like you're talking to an adult. I'm freaking 11, and I'm smart talking to you more than you're smart talking to me. Get on my level. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're gonna go fishing in the morning with Nick. And all them, goodbye. <laughs>